axis of our planet Earth is changing its orientation slowly but continuously. This wobble or precession leads to a shift of the seasons on our planet. Currently, Northern Hemisphere seasonality is low and as a result the Northern Hemisphere tropics are very dry. 11,000 years ago the situation was opposite. Northern Hemisphere summer occurred when the Sun was closest to the Earth. As a result of Northern Hemisphere summer warming, more precipitation arrived in Northern Africa, reducing the desert area and creating vast stretches of savanna. These were optimal conditions for human settlement in Northern Africa. According to new computer simulations of human migration, published by a team of researchers from the University of Hawaii in the journal Nature, the exodus of Homo sapiens out of Africa about 120,000 years ago was heavily affected by the shifting climate conditions related to Earth's axis wobble. Conducting one of the first climate human migration simulations, the research team was able to determine when Homo sapiens arrived at different places. 125,000 years ago, summers in northern Africa were also warm and wet and Homo sapiens crossed in very low numbers the narrow Red Sea near Bab el Mandeb, the Gate of Grief. Arriving on the Arabian Peninsula, Homo sapiens encountered vegetated conditions, rivers, lakes and waterways. This moment in time, approximately 120,000 years ago, marks the first step out of Africa and the beginning of the grand journey of our species across the planet. The expansion from Africa into Asia, Australia and the Americas was a relatively gradual process that took about 100,000 years and required low sea levels and land bridges between Papua New Guinea and Australia and between Eastern Siberia and Alaska. Earth's wobble, with its 20,000 year periodicity, orchestrated the dispersal across the narrow passages in the Sinai and across Bab el -Man. One of the surprising results of the new study is that the computer simulation that agrees best with all the Asian fossil data of Homo sapiens is one that also simulates a very early arrival of Homo sapiens in Europe around 80 to 90,000 years ago, predating the oldest fossil evidence there by about 40,000 years. The Green Migration Gateway that opened up between Africa and Eurasia 110 to 95,000 years ago would have also promoted a low-density migration into southern Europe and possibly an early interbreeding with Neanderthals.